Hey loves, welcome to another episode on Sandra Morgan Living and today I am so happy and excited to share with you guys the last of my three main living rooms, my three main living spaces uh, that I have made over. I've already shared my sunroom and my dining room on Instagram, but today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the details via video form of my eclectic living room. So let's get started. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe and we will get right in. So over here is a little corner. Um, this was a piece that was in my um, sunroom and I just never really used it a lot, but I brought it out here like late last year and I really like it because I get to, you know, everybody has junk drawers. I have multiple junk drawers. <laughs> So we get to like shove a lot of stuff in there. So I don't remember exactly where I got this piece. I mean, I think I remember, but I don't remember the name of the online store, but I do love it. It's just a really nice multifunctional piece. And I love that it is um, that wood tone color. But all together, I love everything. The vintage typewriter all makes for a uniform and beautiful and very eclectic setting over here. We're gonna move on to the wall, the piece de resistance of this space. This piece, I was in New York and I was looking for um, a statement piece for the wall. I knew that I wanted something beautiful and that would stand out. And I, I was like really disappointed because I was looking for something. I was like, man, I'm not finding anything. Like this whole entire place has stuff and I couldn't find anything. So I looked over and there she was. I, she doesn't have a name. Do you guys think I should name her? Um, but she, when I saw it, I knew that she would make the space and I knew I wanted to have an eclectic wall and I was really excited about that. So she's the the um, center of the art wall and I really think that she brings in all the tones that are going throughout the space. Just a tip on doing an art wall. If you're doing an art wall, try to have a variety of sizes a variety of colors and a variety of texture. That really makes your art wall visually interesting and just all around a really cohesive um, statement in your home. I didn't want to, I didn't want to like spend a lot of money um, in the makeover of my new eclectic space. I just really wanted to continue to incorporate what I already had. So. I, I've always loved vintage finds. I've always gone to flea markets and I just needed to bring everything together. And I feel like I never really defined my space because I just love what I love. And people ask me, where do you shop? And I'm like, I shop everywhere. I shop what speaks to my heart, what, what I love, what what is just pretty to me. And so I've come to really realize that um, I do love color, but in a more eclectic way than just throwing color in there. A lot of people think that they can do an eclectic style and that's just meaning mishmashing stuff, but that's not really the fact. So you have to also have um, have a cohesive, even though it's eclectic. Um, so the pillows at first, I had like this like orangey pillow and there was just something that I was like, that's not gonna work. Um, if I can interject a picture, I will to show you the, the pillow that I was talking about. And you'll see how that pillow it was just out of place because I was trying to bring in color. And I was like, it's okay because there's color here. You don't have to have color everywhere. Just like I needed to mute to kind of mute down the space. So I chose to do something graphic to make a little bit of statement on the sofa, but still I kept everything simple and elegant and all these velvet pillows just, I love them. They're so big and fluffy. Um, so we didn't want to spend a lot of money. In the update, I want to show you guys what a, a can of paint what some um, accessories and updates in your pillows and throws and all those things can make to a room. You do not have to go and, and buy everything new. And that's what we did, kept the sofa and just updated the pillows, got this throw at, um, this was from Target and I love little tassels. This tray, was, it's not a tray, it's a mirror. That the hubby actually was like, I was like, what am I gonna do with this? And Scott's like, hey, just make it into a tray. And I was like, Okay, okay, Mr. Downey, all right. So he had the idea and I thought it looked really great here. So this was also in the dining room last year. This um, was in the dining room, but this is new from World Market. This is this little thing I love 
jacks. Like I have one, two, three, I have three different jacks in the house. Um, so I have, this one is from Home Goods, and uh, I just wanted this cam because it was just a nice pop of black uh, onto the whole vignette. And I just thought the vignette was beautifully done because of all the textures and stuff. I'm, I'm a big fan of texture because texture is very interesting. So this lamp, I walked into Home Goods and I was like, so this lamp I chose because I felt it brought in a little bit of movement into the space. I felt that it brought in another shape into the space. And also what I loved is that it's a beautiful bronze, like gold bronze, not bronze, but more gold. And it kind of balances out this piece here and also the gold lantern that's over there. They kind of are like on opposite sides. So it brings in the whole space together and kind of plays up on this piece here. So it's like in a triangle and visually your eyes are, are resting on three different, but three similar uh, textures and tones in the space. Over here, we're keeping the gold piece, the gold texture as an accent in the room and making sure everything's cohesive. And I didn't want to get rid of my vintage um, door and my vintage shutter. I just, I want to keep it because I love them and they were pieces that I just feel like add texture to wherever I have them in the house. This little table I love because of, again, bringing in the gold here and here. Um, I got this also from Home Goods. This one I also got from Home Goods. The peplum feathers. Um, I'm sorry, they're not peplum. I don't. What, that's that's on a shirt. Sorry, I'm just having like brain fog. Pompous, the pompous dress. Uh, I got in New York City in the Flower District uh, about a little over a year ago, and I found this. And I like when I saw this piece, I was like, oh my god. I knew that it was something that I wanted to bring. I knew that it would fit the pompous grass so beautifully and it does. So the both of them work together. I'm still waiting for a piece here that I will show you guys a little bit update uh, in another video or on my Instagram most likely. And I really just felt like this corner needed something. So I can't wait to get that piece that's going to go here. So thank you guys so much for taking this video tour with me. Hi, Felix. Did you say hi to the camera? Um, so thank you guys so much for taking this tour with me of my new updated eclectic decor and I will see you later on another episode of Sandra Morgan Living.